Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once more to Ask Oki. Today, I have a special guest in the studio, in the person of Mr. Peter Barlow. Many of you have seen Pete before. He was here for a segment some time ago, and, uh, which was very well received. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, he instantly became a YouTube star in form. Wow. So we thought, exactly. we, we thought it only proper to invite him back uh, into Studio One for another exciting segment. Very exciting segment. We have a lot to talk about today. Uh, however, we're constrained for time, so we shall uh, limit it to the time that we have been allocated, but uh, we'll make it as exciting as possible nonetheless. Pete, welcome to Studio One. Thank and you. I yield Thank you. Uh, for you to make uh, some kind of remark to your, to your fan club, as it were. To my distinguished audience. <laughs> right. Yes, today it's cloth and the uses of cloth. And as you can see, we've got a pile of Ask Oki inventory here. And we're going to be talking about different types of cloth and what they're most suitable for. And Oki and I will go back and forth in the discussion. Very good, very good. Thank you, Pete. So, um, without further ado, let's uh, get right into it. Let's get started. Now, please. the way this uh, table has been arranged, you might wonder, my goodness, that's a lot of cloth. Um, mm -hmm. This is a very uh, unique collection of cloth, all handpicked by yours truly. Uh, a lot of them are vintage. Uh, some of them are, are limited edition, uh, but none of these are production cloth. Uh, to say the list. When I say production, I mean sort of made in mass quantity. Mm -hmm. uh, they've all been curated very, very, very carefully uh, by yours truly. So we're going to go through these piles and we've broken them into four sections. Uh, you may be wondering why we have them placed in four columns of piles, as it were. And what we've done is use our judgment our best judgment, as yes, it were, yes. to determine what type of cloth suits a specific garment. Again, the idea behind this segment is to look at all these individual pieces of or lengths of cloth and figure out how do I pick a certain type of cloth mm -hmm. for a specific mm -hmm. garment. Mm -hmm. And that is something that a lot of people struggle with, wouldn't you say? Yeah, well, that's the challenge. And particularly when you're ordering online and you pull the trigger on an order, you don't really know how it's going to turn out when you get it. But equally so, if you go into a physical tailor's shop, you're faced with a huge array of cloth, like, like these pieces, bolts and bolts and bolts. And the question is, if you want a double-breasted suit, for example, well, which particular fabric, forget the color for a minute, which kind of pattern would be most suitable for that? If you want a sports jacket, what should you be looking at? What should you be thinking about? Because of the variety that's available, I think quite a number of men exercise themselves over this and possibly never quite sure that they made the right decision. So what Oki and I hope is that after you've watched the next few minutes or so, you'll have a sense of sort of the range of patterns and textures and weights that you can apply to Sports, single-breasted sports jackets, suits, double-breasted suits, single-breasted suits, and then double-breasted casual jackets or odd jackets, which we've reserved this pile here for. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So the way we've laid this out, again, according to our judgment mm. or our taste, if I, should, yes. if I could use that yes. word, is right here, the first column uh, is for sport coats. And yep. we'll explain why. These are suitings in the middle. The mm -hmm. next two columns are suitings. And that last column is also for sport coats. The difference is that these are going to be for single-breasted sport coats. And mm -hmm. that pile or column over there, we've selected for double-breasted yep. sport yep. coats. Yep. And we will go through each of the lengths mm. and explain why. Yes. Uh, as fast as possible, because there's quite a bit to get through. <laughs> yes. We will explain why we've chosen sure. this specific type of cloth, sure. the sure. pattern, the weight, the weave, yeah. uh, for uh, either a double-breasted jacket or a single-breasted jacket, or a full, a full suit. suit. Yep. 
So where do you want to start, Pete? Well, let's start. I'll tell you why. Let's start with this one because this is one of my favorites. Okay, you want to start with of, the suitings? In terms of color, a suiting. Okay. And then we'll let's work our way through the suitings because you've got a great variety here for the double-breasted jackets and a considerable variety there. But do you mind if we start with the suitings? Fire away, okay. you're the guest. So well, let's take it's a only polite that you lead the charge. At this one here. This is London Lounge and it's bluish gray. It's... I guess you could call this a Prince of Wales, or yes, not quite. Yes, you can hold it up. Hold it up. Or is it not quite a Prince of Wales? It's more like a, I would call it a plaid. It's not really it is a, a plaid. Prince of, I no. wouldn't call it. It's not really it's a, a Prince of check. Wales. Uh, some of it's you a may know this is a glen check, absolutely, or an Urquhart because check. a Prince of Wales has an overcheck. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. red, red or orange or, or something, orange or blue, light yeah. blue. This stuff here feels absolutely marvelous. It's medium weight. So I would say this for early summer, late summer, autumn, winter. Spring. Spring. You could just about wear this at any time of the year, depending what, what climate you're in. It's about 400 grams. About 400 grams. Okay. And it's perfect for a suit. Now, it might not be black or dark gray, which may be what you're accustomed to for a suit. But I would suggest a suit like this you can wear on virtually every occasion. And once you've got your standard gray, blue suit, this would be the next kind of choice. And single-breasted or double-breasted, I would say as well. Um, the color is absolutely marvelous. And it's got, I mean, it, it looks probably to the, those of you watching on camera as if it's light, light gray and dark gray and a little bit of blue. In fact, it's got some other tiny bits of color inside the panels or inside the squares. And when you wear it, those will show up. Absolutely. Um, I would say light, light gray shirt, white shirt even, uh, maybe a dark blue tie, or perhaps something more like burgundy or maroon colored tie to give it a little bit of variety. But no, this is, this is marvelous. And I think this is color wise, this is my favorite of a lot. Absolutely, put absolutely. Around. Put that aside. The next we're going to talk about in the suits is, let's talk about a plain blue, mm -hmm. just since we're mm -hmm. on the blue. Yep. So here we have, if you could hold this up, yep. here we have, it's sort of a nail head yes. fabric. Yes. Um, it's a London lounge cloth, uh, Michael Alden, if you're watching. Um, and it's, they call it the Mistral. Yes. I guess yes. that's the name that uh, he picks a name for. But it's called the Mistral, but really what it is like, it looks like a nail head. If you look, oh, yeah, bird's if you look eye. very closely, it's a like bird's a, or, eye. A, or a pick. Uh, it's, it looks like a bird's eye. A bird's actually. eye, yes. yes. Uh, I didn't yes. nail head, it's different, but it looks yes. like a bird's eye. Um, this is also about 370, 400 mm -hmm. grams. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is a suiting, certainly, or even you could use this for a blazer. Some you use this. actually it, it could, just, yes, yes. For me, I like blazers who have a bit more texture. It's a bit too yeah. fine. Yeah. You well, know. I think what, what's great about this one is that. From a distance, it'll look sort of dark, bluey gray. But once you get up close, these little dots, the bird's eyes, in fact, you'll notice are quite a lot lighter. And so you'll get a really nice um, sense of color. It won't look just gray or just dark blue. And so you could wear this again. This would suit the office. Uh, it would suit any other occasion if you wanted to dress up. And what is this? This is um, Navy, Navy Mistral. Yes. And it's made in Scotland. There you go. So, there you go. That's number mm, two. Perfect. And this is... Ah, yes. An interesting departure from your everyday suit. This is a black Barathea cloth. Yeah, okay, yeah. if you go hold this up. There we go. Barathea... Mm. is traditionally known as a formal garment or a formal cloth mm -hmm. used for tuxedos. Mm -hmm. Let's hold this up a little. Yes, or a military uniform sometimes. Yes, or a military uniform. But it is a black, simple black Barathea, which mm -hmm. in many cases has really only, I mean, not only one use, but it's mostly used for dinner suits. Yeah. This is your quintessential dinner suit. Uh, this yeah. particular cloth, I believe, is from Dogdale. It's Dogdale, I yes. This is yes. from Dogdale. It's a, it's a chunky cloth. Um, mm -hmm. It's about uh, 15 ounces, 16 ounces. So 
It's got a bit of a punch to it. It's pretty heavy. Yes. And yeah. the intention behind this was to have some kind of like a winter, winter tuxedo, mm. like, a, like a cooler weather tuxedo. Uh, and this would you know, certainly fit, uh, fit the bill. Uh, what more could you say about the Baratheia weave? Well, it's got a slight sheen to it. It's not shiny, but it's, it's got a, it reflects the light to an extent. This is the front side, obviously, and this here you've got the back part of it. And you'll notice the, the way it almost looks like a twill or a serge when you look at the other side. Mm -hmm. um, for a dinner jacket, yeah, you, 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 wouldn't, you wouldn't want this for anything else. So if you're looking for a black suit or a very, very dark suit, no, don't go for this. But definitely for a dinner jacket, and as Oki says, it's, it's pretty heavy. So, no, not for the summer. Not, not for dancing in the summer, put it that way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's take this and put this over here. And while we're on the subject of dinner clothes, we have another lovely, lovely, yeah, lovely, that's lovely a beauty. dinner suit. Uh, mm. This is a midnight blue if you yeah, can hold yeah. this up. This is a midnight blue Barathea yeah. from Fox Brothers. Yeah. This is just a beautiful mm. Bentley of a cloth. It certainly um, is, yes, yes. It is from their special edition. They don't make this yeah. all the time. It's yeah. called the Director's Cut. Yeah. Uh, so you have to actually be on it and subscribe to these uh, yeah. because they go really fast. But this is a Barathea in, in midnight blue. Yep. Now, why do we have a midnight blue dinner suit or Barathea and a black? Um, Pete, do you want to take this? Well, it partly depends on the lighting. But you'll absolutely, notice that... Absolutely, absolutely, 100%. Even though, even though this is dark blue, under usual lighting, it actually it looks, looks blacker than, black. than the black does. Absolutely. The black ends up looking slightly brownish brown or dark greenish. Absolutely. But with this one, oddly enough, it will look... Absorbs that artificial light. Completely. And it will look absolutely black. Now you'll need to get the facings made in a similar tone. So you'll need to get some satin, um, midnight blue satin, to go with it. But this would be you could also use black satin if you want a slight contrast. There would be a slight contrast. It, yes. It's yeah. not that, like again, under artificial light, uh, you don't really notice. It no, looks like no, black. It does. And it's much lighter yeah. than the black barathea that we just had over there. Right. This, I would say... It's about 14, 13, 14. 13 I max, I would right. think. Right. Uh, 12 to 13. And this would suit the summer. So if you're, for example, going to, have, going to go to a wedding, and you want a dinner suit made up for the wedding, or you wanted, for example, um, dinner suits made up for the groom and, and his buddies, this is the sort of material that would be perfect for a summer wedding, a graduation, any, any event. Um, summer, spring, um, autumn, that kind of thing. But, but that one over there, the black one, is much, much, much heavier. Right. Now, this so is, that's it, but it is just mm -hmm. as the Bentley of a cloth. It I is, mean, look yes. at the hand on it. Oh, no, no, it's, it's fantastic. Look at the hand The other thing it. is, what you'll notice is the way that it, that it falls. It's, yeah. it's not stiff, neither is it floppy. Absolutely. So it, it'll, it'll, it'll take tailoring. And I think that's something that you need to keep in mind is if you're going to get a garment tailored, the fabric has to be substantial enough that it can kind of handle and support all the, the canvas and everything than the under, under work that you're going to get done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa. Moving on. Another masterpiece from, yes. uh, from London Lounge. Yes. Uh, Michael Arden. If, you have, if you're watching this, you can, yes. you can see where all your orders have been going. But this is a beautiful diamond weave. Uh, it's yeah. a mid-gray yeah. cloth. It's yeah. a suiting. Yeah. Um, a wool set suiting. Uh, he calls it, or they call it, the wabi-sabi, the wabi-sabi cloth. Uh, like I said, he, yes. he gives a name to all these different cloths, but this is called a wabi-sabi. It has sort of, it's like a diamond weave. Yep. It's really very subtle. You can't really mm. see it until you come very close to the cloth, but it's just such a beautiful mid-weight worsted, about 13 ounces, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is about where you want most of your mid-weight yep. worsted yep. to land, yep. because... You know, in I guess in the northern hemisphere, you could get a good three seasons out of it. Oh, definitely, um, definitely. 
obviously with the with the coat in the winter mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. but you could stretch this uh, through three seasons and that's why I always recommend when starting out your suit collection especially if you're in the northern hemisphere it's always good to start with 13 14 ounces yeah. because you have that combination of good drape yep and then obviously tend to be more robust and then Definitely. you can wear it for a longer period over the sure, year. So sure, in terms of sure. utility and in terms of drape, and drape means they tailor much, much better, yeah. you know, this type of cloth, about 13, 14 ounces, is the way to go. Mm. I think the other thing is that I'm not sure if this is one of the old Fox patterns that uh, London Lounge was resuscitating, but it looks to me as if this, this isn't a, this is a real classic weave. And the beauty of this is that the little diamonds, again, won't show up from a distance. You have to get up right up close Absolutely. to see them. But the effect at a distance is that it kind of livens up the gray. Otherwise, gray can look awfully dull. Absolutely. And what Oki says about the weight, I think, is, is important. Once you get to, say, 12, between 12 and 14 ounces, you're getting material that won't fall apart and it takes a crease, you can wear it and hang it up, you don't have to press it, whereas the really light material kind of uh, dies on you after a while. Absolutely. In fact, the odd thing is, if you look at this under the, under the light, it's, it's sort of dark gray and light gray, depending on where it's catching where the, the light. Where the light falls, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. And, it, and, the, and the, the diamond weave gives it that nice little bit of texture that you want to have. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Great. Moving on. Now, now we since we're still on the subject of gray suits, I want to ah, contrast yes. this to this. Yes. This is another lovely, 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 lovely mm. cloth. If you can a hold blend, this a up. A blend check, a big blend check. This is a big blend check. But. With an open weave. I was going to say, you yes. You can notice it's like you can literally see through it. Yes, you can. Yeah. But, but mm. the way this has been woven, you know how, how, you know how much, uh, how, you know what this, uh, what weight this cloth is? No. It's 500 grams. Wow. So it's 500 grams. Um, and the idea, obviously, the heavier you go with the cloth, the better it drapes. Mm -hmm. But it's also been woven openly. If yes. you can see, it's yes. a high twist. Yes, yes, it is. It's a high twist. You yep. can literally yep. see through it. Mm -hmm. So it's a high twist, but it's got a quite a beefy weight to it. And this is, yes. again, another special edition cloth, uh, cloth from Fox Brothers, yeah, from the director's cut. Yeah. So this would be, I guess, what you would call a Glen Plaid, not quite a Prince of Wales check. It's, a, it's another Glen check. The checks are much bigger than, than they were in the piece that we looked at there. I would suggest if you're not, if you're fairly small, you might want to avoid this. If you're bigger, the big checks work. The other thing is that if you, if you like checks, um, this is great because it's the same color right across. And again, from a distance, it will look like a sort of patterned gray. When you get up close, you'll see, you'll see exactly what it, what it looks like. The cloth is, it feels thin, but it's extremely strong. And again, you can wear this and wear it and wear it, and in 20 years' time, you'll still be wearing it if you, it still fits, obviously. Absolutely. Um, and, it, and it won't let you down. Absolutely. So, and again, for work or, or for outside work. Yeah. Absolutely. So now that's, that I want to show you something similar, but in a lighter weight. Right. Here, we have another. We've got a Prince of Wales Prince of, A true Prince of Wales. A true Prince of Wales. The light blue over check. Light blue over check. And this is, again, from Michael Alden from yep. uh, London Lounge. It's called the Brisa. Uh, the Brisa cloth. That's the yes. name of the cloth. But it is a very light, uh, not, I wouldn't say very light. It's more of a medium gray. Uh, you're about 10 ounce there. I this is think. 13 ounces. 30, is it? Yes. But really? it's, it's 13 ounces, so it's got quite a bit of uh, weight to it. Mm. But again, it's a high twist. It's an open yeah, weave. Yeah, yeah. And that's why it feels light. Mm. But that's... Um, again, one point we should make. The Prince of Wales and the Glencheck are not... These sorts of materials are not for jackets or for odd trousers. Mm -hmm. These are for a suit. Mm -hmm. Now, it Let's could be a, so a three-piece suit, a two-piece suit, or a double-breasted suit. Mm -hmm. 
You could even, with this light material, have a double-breasted suit with a waistcoat if you wanted to do that mm -hmm. because it's nice and light. At the same time, mm -hmm. it will hang really well even though it's lightweight because you notice with some of your lightweight fabrics, mm -hmm. they, they, they don't hang awfully mm -hmm. well, but mm -hmm. this one will. And, uh, and it'll look fanta absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. Um, the, it's a daytime suit. Absolutely. It's a, it's a daytime suit. This is yeah. a daytime suit, for sure. So we'll put this aside. We've yep. looked at okay, two, you have two that one. Glenn checks or Prince of Wales. Now, still on the suiting, let's talk about this. Oh, I think you, yeah. you love this cloth. This is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite of Bring all out these. the big guns. <laughs> Bring out the big guns. Yeah, no, no. This is, this is my favorite of all of these. All right. This is, this yeah. is a tank of a cloth. Yeah, I know. It feels, and, like a, uh, feels like a blanket. Pete, Pete, Pete lives north of 17 ounces and yeah, 17, 18 it. ounces yeah. when it comes to cloth. But this is a tank of a cloth. Pete. Yes, it is. Yes. So yes. I'll, I'll give you the well, honors. Well, I'll is, let you talk about is this, it. Is this about 17 ounces? It is about yeah. 17 ounces. It doesn't feel like it. It, it. It's very soft to the hand. And usually when you get a very soft cloth, you want to watch out because it's got may have cashmere in it. Cashmere is not good for suits because it doesn't wear very well. But this will wear extremely well. Um, it's Fox Brothers. No, this is, or, yeah, this is Fox. This Absolutely. Is, this is Fox Brothers. It's one of their special edition cloth. Well, what's beautiful about this is that you've got, you've got gray. So if you're going to be working in an office or something, gray is fine. Uh, but it's got these lovely red lines. Burgundy. So burgundy like, lines. Uh, so it gives, you, it gives it some color. Um, it's a herringbone, too. It's a herringbone, so, so you've got some texture. if you come a bit closer, texture. it's got sort of yep. this herringbone weaves the way it's so. It's yeah, essentially, you, you, it's, a, it's a sort of, it's a pinstripe, you know, very it's, pinstripe. It's kind of a pin, a pin dot line here. Uh, the lines are about half an inch apart, but the right. distance is different. On top of a herringbone. Part. Yeah, on top, and they've got some, some of the lines are narrower, and some of them are wider. Right. So it really gives you a beautiful appearance and again suit only mm -hmm. but this I is a three-piece suit three this is a three-piece suit okay okay laughs about my fondness for the heavier weights but honestly <laughs> it doesn't feel that heavy it really doesn't and it's not thick or rough so you will feel very well in this garment and of course cut with the drape as you see okay wearing there and cut with the drape in the trousers, in the Ask Oki yeah. standard, it would This has three-piece written all over yes, it. Yes, it does, yes. It, it yes, does have yes. three-piece written all over it. Now, next to that, let's, since we're sort of on that lane, let's talk about this, Pete. Right. This is another Big gray yep. window pane. Big window pane. Okay, let's take this off. So this yes. is... This is Agnelli tweed, and the we Agnelli know tweed. why because it looks like what Agnelli was wearing used to wear, in absolutely. that photograph. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Yes. So again, this is from London Lounge. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, they call it the Agnelli, with meaning Gianni, uh, is it, uh, what's his, uh, what's, what's his Gianni Agnelli, the, the, Gianni the Agnelli. Ferrari man. Uh, yeah. Ferrari, uh, uh, former uh, Fiat uh, uh, head honcho, uh, who was by all accounts uh, a, Fiat, very, sorry, uh, a very well-dressed man. Mm. And um, yeah, it's a gray, gray cloth from, from afar, it looks like a plain gray. Uh, but on close inspection, you can see the window pane. Yeah, so it's got it, a again, beautiful window pane on it. It goes to talking about uh, what you mentioned with the other cloth. Uh, it's, it's conservative enough that it can be worn as quote unquote, uh, not a, a boardroom suit, but something oh. you could wear into the office and, uh, on a Friday. Absolutely. Um, I think the thing is that Again, it's the check or the, the pattern, the window pane pattern is discreet enough that it gives it some life. Because after all, clothes are for living in, right? It gives it some life, but at the same time, as Oki says, it's not too loud. So I would say, yeah, possibly not boardroom, although Agnelli seems to have worn this pattern. Well, when you in, have that kind of money, yeah, well, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You own the want. boardroom, yeah. Yeah, you own the boardroom, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, but so yes, yes. moving on. Um, marvelous, marvelous, Great, marvelous. but beautiful, just beautiful cloth. Yes. Beautiful cloth. It's about 400 ounce, uh, 400 mm. ounce. So 
Uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to move on to, let's try some but summer. What about, but what about this one? Let's look at some summer stuff, because mm. we've been looking at the stuff you love. The heavy, <laughs> the heavy, heavy weight winter. stuff. Yes, yes. We know how much you love your heavyweight cloth. So right. we're going to deviate a little bit and look at some lighter stuff. We'll get back to the heavy stuff, but there are a couple of pieces here. Um, yeah. You know, Pete, there's some of us who are not uh, corporate uh, office hounds. Indeed. Uh, there are some of us who are just gentlemen who just like to dress well. Indeed. Um, and when I curated this piece of cloth, this is what I had in mind. It's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, yes, wool yes, linen yes, mix. Yes, yes. It's yes. a summer cloth. It's got good drape on it. It's, it's got a right... Uh, about 10 ounces, I would think. Uh, no, it's more. It's, is it this has got to be about 13 ounces. Okay. But it doesn't feel like it. No. No. Because it's wool mixed, blended with, uh, with linen. Yeah. So and it's got a beautiful hand to it. But this is sort of a light blue mm. uh, suit mm. now. Obviously, this is not something you're going to wear to the boardroom. Or no, to the no, office. no. Um, and when I curated this cloth, the picture I had in mind was my trip to Capri. Right. Right off of Napoli. Right. And this would be the perfect suit for like a summer wedding as a guest. Yes. Um, or something of that nature, a picnic. Well, um, yes. Any, anything, anything in the daytime, anything sort of south of, um, in the Mediterranean, tropics. And what I like about this is it's not actually plain. It's not a plain weave. It's a there twill. Are, it's a twill, but what I mean by that is that there are little white, white yep. lines. It's shot through with dark blue and light blue. So it, from a distance, you might think, oh, it's just plain light blue. Not at all. Mm -hmm. They've done a, Fox has done a super job with this because you've got these different shades. So up close, it actually almost looks like a patterned cloth. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes it so, so very good, yes. Absolutely. Yes. So yes, this is going to be made into a summer suit. Mm -hmm. uh, probably just a simple, it could be a double-breasted actually, but it could just, just a simple. You uh, could. Uh, it could be, I mean, like a double-breasted, just the same, just similar to what I'm like wearing. Like that, exactly. Like exactly. a linen, like a linen, yes, yes. summer linen. Or yes, of course. Linen summer suit. That Absolutely. could be a double-breasted summer mm -hmm. uh, suit or mm -hmm. obviously a single-breasted. Now, another light summer suit here is this is what, uh, this is again another London Lounge special. This is yeah. a mohair. Uh huh. Pete. Uh, mohair is known for its uh, open light properties. So it's mohair and wool? This is more obviously, you cannot have pure mohair no, because no. it's too brittle. Uh, it's going to break. Uh, mohair is a type of. Uh, uh, hair that comes from a mountain goat, That's from right. what I understand. Yes. From the stomach, from the belly of, of a goat. Of a goat. I'm yeah. not sure exactly what part of it, but it's from a goat. It's, it's a very, uh, uh, very rare goat, and it's quite expensive to procure. Yes. Yes. Uh, but more importantly, it's very brittle in its natural yes. form. So yes. what they typically do is that it's blended with wool to, to stabilize uh, the cloth. So. Again, this is another beautiful Prince of Wales. This is marvelous. This it's is just absolutely amazing. marvelous. And the interesting thing is it feels light, it's but it's woven very tightly. Yeah. So you're not going to see much daylight through this cloth. Um, it's, it looks black almost, but it's not. It's actually blue. The checks are blue. And then you've got almost a bird's eye effect from these very small checks. In fact, you do have a sort of a bird's eye down the middle there. Yeah. And so again, Plenty of vi vitality to it, shall we say? It's not, it's not a dull. Would you call this the cloth. Prince of Wales or? or no, or, no, or, it's a Glencheck. It's a Glencheck. It's another of the Glenchecks, yeah. but but the beauty but of it is. But you can see it from. It, it looks like a dark blue from. A it distance. looks like a dark blue from a distance. So for the office, or for every other occasion. Yeah. Yeah. How would you make this? Double breasted, single breasted? No, I I wouldn't make a double breasted out of this. No, it's got too much check. I would suggest a single-breasted. Uh, if you look at the Ask Oki single-breasted jacket, mm -hmm. this would suit it perfectly uh, with straight pockets. And then matching trousers, possibly a waistcoat underneath would really give it a, a bit of you a think punch. So? Oh, yes, I think so. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, but 
you see, if you, if you have a waistcoat with it, it becomes an all-season suit. Yeah. You see, that's the thing. I, I, I seldom pair waistcoats with summer suits. Oh, okay. Because, okay. I mean, it's almost like an oxymoron, right? In, in a sense, yes. Uh, in a sense, because, you know, summer suggests uh, light clothing mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. open and, and a third piece of the clothing just sort of adds one more layer of yes, warmth yes, which you yes. don't want so no. for my summer suits I typically like to keep them to two pieces and Fair enough. reserve the, uh, Fair enough. the waistcoat or vest for yes. the uh, winter fabric now wow. this is your oh, classic yeah. yeah that is your classic yes I know you've been waiting for this <laughs> Uh, I know this, you've been waiting for this. Well, this, this is, compares with the other Prince of Wales that we have, we put on the pile. This is a, a heavier material. That was more of a, I would say, a glen check. With the blue, light with blue, blue one over you check. liked. Yeah. That was, this is a true Prince this of Wales. Because it's black and white with the overcheck. Right. Yes. Uh, this is nice? a true Prince of Wales. Yes. The only challenge with Prince of Wales is where are you going to wear it? Because it's a bit too sporty for... The office. The office. It's, it's really for the racetrack, actually. Um, but it's almost, you, you wish there were more occasions to wear something like this, because it really is extremely flattering. Um, regardless of whether you're tall or short, anything like that, I would think probably a double-breasted suit in this would, be, would be the best Stunning. choice. Because you get, with the double-breasted suit, you get more of the fabric showing. Yes. And I just think this is, again, a fantastic choice. Once you've built up your capsule wardrobe with the basic colors, mm -hmm. then start getting into stuff like this because it really is an opportunity. Beautiful. And this is yeah. another amazing limited edition yes. cloth from uh, London Lounge. From and and of course, London. the thing is, I don't know if everybody knows this, but these are limited cloths, which means that once they're sold out, they're sold out. Oki's, Oki's got some of them. If you order from Ask Oki, they're yours. Absolutely. Uh, and nobody else's. So if you really want to look unique, it's not only the cut, but it's also the fabric. Very now, good. Now, what have we got? A sort of Agnelli? Another Agnelli uh, yes. window pane here. Yes. Very similar to the gray one. Uh, I think Actually, I like this the, even more. The exact twin. Yep. Of the gray one. But this is bluey gray. But this is an Air Force blue. Yes. They call it. Yep. Now is this... With, it's an Air Force blue with dark blue yep. windows. Now is this for double or single breasted? I would it, say single breasted. It could go either way, but I could see this in a double breasted as really? well. Really? Because the patterns are not so large. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They're not so large that they become overwhelming. Yeah. Actually, from a distance, it looks like a plain sort of medium blue. Yeah, it's beautiful And you don't color. really see the check steel. You yeah. come quite close. And you've got inside the, the window panes, as it were, you've got this variety of dark and light bluey gray. So you really get a, a lovely sort of liveliness going on in there. It's not just, again, like the other Agnelli fabric, it's not just a plain fabric. And these, these window, uh, whatever you call them, these lines, these are almost black. They're very, very dark blue. Super. That, so that's, that that's that a beautiful, yeah, it's about 420, ounce, about 400 ounces. Uh, uh, Alden labels it as a tweed. No, but it's not a tweed. No, he no. labels it, but it's just got such a fine hand. No, it's to not. It. A, it's it not a tweed. Feel like no, that. It's it doesn't not have a tweed that roughness at all. of a tweed. No, no, it's a standard flannel, really. Uh, it it feels something like a mixture between sort of a worsted flannel, and it's got some Swedish yeah. properties to it. Yes, it's again, it's what eighteen ounces? No, no, no. This is about four hundred grams. So it's about. 13, 14 ounces. About 14 ounces. Yeah, again, yeah. good for any time of the year if yeah. you're in the northern you're hemisphere. In the northern yeah. hemisphere. So you put that over there. Now, this is a good old. Let's talk about this. I know you had your, oh. you've had your eye on this. Oh, you've, wow. You've had your eye on yes, this beauty. Yes, yes. Uh, that was the first thing you saw. You picked out, oh, your eye picked yeah. out when you came in here. It feels um, like felt. It is just, it feels like butter. Yeah, but it feels like, like a piece of felt. It, it just, this is just a, Isn't that incredible? a classic chalk yes. stripe in brown. coffee brown, which coffee you brown. seldom see anywhere 
in it's, these days. It's amazing because at one time, this was standard, and I've got in my collection a vintage piece from about 1940, which is very similar to this. Striped brown was at one time very, very common, and it, it went out. Um, and I think this is one of yeah. Fox's vintage patterns because yes. they did that a few years Absolutely. ago. Absolutely. But what's incredible about this is the feel of it. As I said, it feels like felt. Yeah. But obviously, it's much stronger Beautiful than felt. Beautiful hand to it's it. It's flannel. Just, it feels like butter. Yeah, it does. And but it doesn't have that wooliness of flannel. No, it no, doesn't no. have that fuzzy. spongy, it's fuzzy not, It's finish. not fuzzy. No, no, no. Right. This, this a suit in this does literally set you apart yeah. because you won't see striped brown like this very often, but also simply because the fabric, um, the fabric sort of speaks for itself, that's all I can say. Absolutely. And but the, the, the nice. chalks are so faint, actually, yes, yes. from a distance, it just looks like a dark brown suit. Well, uh, uh, from, some, a very from a very long distance. Long distance. But, but, a, but a dark brown suit with a difference. Right. Now, the question, of course, is where do, you, where do you wear dark brown suits? And how would you have this made? I would have a double-breasted. Mm. I would definitely have a double-breasted. Uh, it's going to be pretty warm. So if you're not in a cooler climate, uh, no. It's, it, this, is, this is going to keep you very warm. What is that? About 17, 16, oh, yeah. 17 this ounces? Is, this is heavy stuff. No, this that is, 17, is just about 16, 17 ounces. Marvelous, that material. Just marvelous. And the last two suitings here, which do you want to go for? These are standard office suitings. Well, let's look at this one because this a, is a, a bit blue different. blue and a gray. Let's look at the blue first because it's a bit different. It's got some surprises to it. Now, what are we talking about here? Probably 15 ounce, I would think. This is about 14. 14 yes, is about okay. 14 okay. ounce. About 14, about 14, 15. Yeah, 14, 15 ounce. You can feel the heat yeah, yeah. to it. Yeah. Now, this is what I would call the perfect Just let it, office. Uh, hang. Let's let it hang. The perfect office suiting. Why? It's dark blue. So when you're with the gang walking into the lift in the morning, nobody's going to really stare at you. On the other hand, it's dark blue with a difference because what it has is a sort of self-herringbone. So as you look at it, it's got this incredible pattern it's got little bird's eyes, and then it's got them aligned in a herringbone shape. And if you want to have a suit that, that doesn't jump out at everyone, on the other hand, which tells everybody that, hey, he's got access some, to some amazing material, must have a marvelous tailor, this is the material to wear. And I think, as, as Oki said, any work context, this would do, whether you're a lawyer or a banker or whatever you do, during the day. This is the material. And it could even sort of, uh, it could hold you over into the night. Oh, indeed. And so say, for instance, you had a dinner engagement oh, of course. after work, oh, of course, or cocktails, yes. Oh, yes. or anything, hour. Anything formal. It's dark enough yes. to wear at night. Anything semi-formal. Without looking like you just came straight from the office. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> but, but the beauty of it is, as I said, is this, is this variety in the color and the hang, the, the fall, as they say, or the drape, is phenomenal in this. Mm -hmm. Just let's hold it up. This let's way. hold it up, so that See the way it falls. Literally, literally, the trousers are just going to hang, hang from the braces beautifully. The jacket, especially when you get the drape cut jacket, that extra fold and everything, it won't look like a crumple. It'll yeah. just hang there. Yeah, I would. I would go for this in an instant. Absolutely. In an instant. Well, let's see who the lucky Askoki customer yeah, I was going be. to say, yes, because, <laughs> because they're not making any more of it. No, they're, they're not. They're not making any more of it. And the last, and the last of one, the Mohicans. The last of the Mohicans. The last of the suiting Mohicans. Gray double, gray DD worsted. Yes, that's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's an Alden cloth. That's yep. a London, London lounge cloth. Uh, he calls it D.D. Worsted. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it's basically a twill, as yes, you can yes, see. It's but twill. it's just yes. a beautiful classic. It is. It is. And it's like, a beautiful classic twill. And like all of the cloths that we've handled today, it has an incredible feel to it. to it. And just a marvelous fall to it. Hold it and see how it falls. Yes. So look at that. 
it falls perfectly without being very heavy. It's, uh, I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice texture, um, all season, all season suiting. Yeah. And it's about 13 ounces. 13 ounces, yeah. and 13. I would say definitely the double-breasted for this one, mm. because again, you want to, you want to be able to get as much cloth on you as possible, mm -hmm. and the double-breasted will enable you to do that. Yeah. And it, yes, it might look a little dull, but don't forget that it's not only the cloth, it's the cut mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And I think done properly. Mm -hmm. This and is a medium gray. Yes, it's so a medium gray. So something it's a that gray. could double. I mean, you could actually dress this, um, ca not casual, but it's, you know, sort of it's that, it, it could really stand in that line between quote unquote an office suit and something that you could wear to um, say um, an event. Oh, you, you could. Sort of oh, you could definitely wear it. You could definitely wear it to an event. Yes. Event. Yeah, the dark, the dark. Especially looks a if it's severe. in a double-breasted cut, because oh. that's less. Oh, yeah. Well, I would always suggest double-breasted. Double double-breasted always looks a little bit more adventurous dressy. than sing, yeah, mm -hmm. more dressy than single-breasted. But this is uh, no, this is nice. And if you wanted, actually, if you wanted some grey trousers. This would this also would be work a beautiful perfectly. trousering yes. in yes. the right shade because this is about a medium brown. Yep. And yep. this would just go fantastically <laughs> well with your It dark, actually would, wouldn't it? With yes. your dark blue blazer. Yes, it would. It would be perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. There you go. Well, uh, that's it for the suitings. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we spent quite some time going through this stuff mm -hmm. and we still have quite a pile uh, yes. on top of this table. And so what we've decided to do is that we're going to break this off into segments. And so we will be bringing you another segment where we'll be looking exclusively at the right. sport jackets. Right. Uh, today we've gone through all the suitings and that's taken us a better part of 45 minutes. Yep. Uh, we would have loved to spend even more time on each of the indeed, fabrics. Indeed, indeed. Uh, because there's just so much nuance yep. uh, to unpack with these cloths. Uh, yep. But uh, we're constrained for time. So yes. uh, we have to leave it there for now. We have to leave it there for now. And uh, Pete, I invite you to say a few words before, few words. We, uh, before we uh, pack it up. Okay. Well, in, in a very few words, if you want the cloth, you know where you can get it. And the cloth that we've been looking at today is perfect for Askoki's jacket, Askoki's trousers, because of the amount of tailoring that goes into the Askoki coat, um, you need a fairly substantial cloth. Plus, very important, if you're going to spend the money getting your clothes tailored, don't go short on the cloth, on the cloth because inferior cloth, you'll get a beautiful product, but it won't stand the test of time. Absolutely. Go for the best cloth you can, given your circumstances or purpose. And as I said, the combination, I think, of the cut and the cloth will give you a garment that really you'll, you'll enjoy and you'll, you'll take some pride in for a long, long, long time. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Pete. Most thank welcome. you for joining us for Most yet welcome. another exciting segment. Yet another exciting in segment. In Studio yes. One. Yeah. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget, uh, you can access our products, our garments, mm -hmm. uh, on our main portal or website, as it were, at www.askoki.com. In the product or store section, uh, you will see a broad array of uh, products, jackets, trousers, and so on and so forth, uh, that would suit any of these yeah, beautiful of these cloths, lengths yeah. of cloth yeah. that we've looked at today. Um, for more information or for our informational series, you can also visit us on our YouTube channel yep. uh, at YouTube slash Askoki Inc. Uh, everything, all the links are below this mm -hmm. video in the signature box. Uh, you may also follow us on our Instagram channel yes. Yes. at uh, Askoki IG. That's mm -hmm. Askoki IG, where you can see some fantastic writing by my by none other than my good friend Pete. Uh, he does all the captioning uh, on our on our Instagram uh, post and uh, which uh, have received 
uh, to put it modestly, uh, very critical acclaim. <laughs> so there you go. That is the, the master yeah, pen yeah. or what's me, uh, yeah. as it were. So yeah. please visit our Instagram page. And last but not the least, please visit us uh, or join our Discord channel. Mm -hmm. uh, we have built a community yep. of like-minded individuals where we come together to talk about classic dress yes. uh, in your own words and all the other things that make life and interesting. And all the other things that make life interesting. So with that, uh, I will say thank you. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for joining us for this exciting segment. And we will be bringing you another segment on cloth where we'll be looking exclusively yep. at sport coats. Sport coats and double-breasted sport coats. Or yes. single-breasted single and double-breasted double -breasted breasted. sport coats. Or let's just say sport coats in general. Thank you, Pete, for Most joining welcome. us. And uh, ladies Pleasure. and gentlemen, thank you for watching and uh, look forward to uh, hosting you on the next segment. Mm -hmm. Thank you and goodbye. Cheerio.